Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to create a ten stack table in React. First of all, let's go to our components directory and create a new file. Let's call it ten stack.js. It's going to be our source file of this 10 stack. Let's initialize it. And first of all, I want to create a use state for the table data. So table data and set table data is equal to an array of objects. Of course, it's a use state first. Inside this use state, we have an array of a couple of objects. Well, I have already created the array. It's just uh, simply a name and a price for each object. That's all you can uh, add whatever you want. And then uh, let's map our uh, data to a table inside HTML template. Let's create a container. Inside this container, I want to have a table tag. Okay. And first table head. Inside T head, we have our T row. And T H as T headers. And since we have uh, two fields, we need one for the name and another for the price. All right. And after T head, we have the T body. Let me scroll. Okay. T body. Inside T body, we're going to actually render something here. So let's call our table data dot map. And map gets two arguments, one for the item and the other one for the index. And let me add another parenthesis here. Okay. And then the arrow function right after the arguments. All right. And here we return a template. And inside this template, we should have an, a table row tag, TR. Okay. And inside this table row, we have two TD tags. The first one is uh, the item name that is supposed to be rendered here. And after the name, we have the same thing but for the price. Okay. And don't forget to add the key value here and set it to the index. Let me just add an argument. Okay. And that's pretty much it for the table. But let me add a couple of bootstrap classes. So it looks a little bit better, like table, table border, and table stripped. Stripped, okay. And let's go to our app.js and add a tag of our component to it, okay, 10 stack. As you can see, the data has been rendered beautifully inside the table. And the first one that a 10 stack table needs is pagination. So let's implement pagination here. We need a couple of states. For First one is for the current page, so counts current page and then set current page is equal to a use state. And the current page, well, is one. Okay, and the next one is for the items per page. So const item per page. It actually specifies how many items we want to see in each page. And then set item per page. Let me copy it and simply, okay. It's equal to use that. Well, I want to have four items in each page. And then uh, we need another variable, actually, another state. Comes the last index. It should be equal to the current page number multiplied by items per page. And then First index should be equal to last index minus uh, items per page. And the last thing is uh, current page items, uh, the items that are going to be shown in, in the current page. It should be equal to a slice of the main uh, array, which is table data from first index to last index. Okay, uh, it's everything is ready, but now let's uh, also specify our page numbers. It should be equal to an array. Uh, don't forget the const. Okay, and then inside the for loop, which starts from one and goes to uh, table data length divided by items per page and plus one. It will be actually uh, dialed. Pages that push 
each time and we push I to pages okay and the last thing is to come down and add a nav tag and inside which we should render the page number so we can actually use them pages map page and index are going to be our argu arguments index okay and then the error function inside this error function we return a template which template it's a button that its text is page all right let me set the key to index okay and and let me also add a class name of bootstrap like bgy to so it looks more tolerable okay as you can see the pages are here but uh, they actually don't work because we need to add an unclick method to our buttons so uh, we should actually uh, set the current page to the page which is rendered inside this button so set current page inside it we have page in order to make this effect make sure you change this uh, table data and add current page items instead all right and also let me uh, add a little bit of margin and also padding okay i think uh yeah it works perfectly so we're done with the pagination the next thing that the 10 stack table needs is a search or filter method let me close this okay and scroll down here we have a section for search okay and the first step is to actually create a search bar so we can actually input something and filter our items let me add a div tag right uh, above my table let's give it let's give the class name of container inside this container i want to have an input okay close the tag and the type should be text and set the placeholder okay and first of all we need a state for our search so we can actually control the amount and it should be search and set search which is equal to use state and initial values and empty string okay and also uh, we need an unchanged method on our input so whenever it changes we can actually update the table and we get the event inside this error function and what we do is to uh, set search to uh, the um, the value of the input which is e dot target dot value okay in order to make this all effect we need to filter our items here so uh, let me enter from map and right before map we will apply filter inside this filter uh, we get items from our data which is current page items and return something if search was equal to an empty string we will simply uh, return the item that we uh, got as an argument otherwise we should add some changes and filter them that first let's uh, lowercase all of them so there's no ambiguity and then uh, includes if actually this name includes the search what the user has searched we should uh, return it or the price to string okay includes search okay so we return the item if the name or the price includes what we have searched let's try it uh, but before uh, we try it let me add a padding top to the container okay looks better and if i search for p as you can see uh, we have all the items including p they are paginated as well okay and the last step is to add a sort method to our table first of all we need a state for uh, save data because uh, when we are going to sort it we need to unsort it as well so we need a state to sort data inside i want to call it save data and save state data is equal to use state and initial value is what we just um, 
set to the main table data. Let me copy it and add it here. Okay. Let me close it. All right. And also we need a button so we can actually uh, click it and trigger the sort method that we're going to implement. The text is sort and here let's add an unclick method. It is equal to something like sort table and we are going to implement it right now. So let's say const the name of the function which is sort table and it's equal to an arrow function. Inside this error function, we're going to sort it. But uh, first, let's create another state so we can actually understand if it is sorted right now or not. So let's call it is sorted and set is sorted. Is sorted equal to use state. Initial value is false because by default it's not sorted. Let's go back to the function. And here, first of all, we should see if is sorted was false, we should sort it inside these curly braces okay and here inside this condition we should set these sorted data equal to a copy of our main uh, array which is table data and then this sorted data uh, is going to be sorted based on the price numbers okay so we should actually specify this and if we have a and b then inside the share function we get a dot price minus b dot price this will uh, sort the array based on the price and then set uh, table data to sorted data that we just created Okay, and make sure set is sorted to true because uh, it will uh, cause re-rendering and create an infinite loop. Okay, and then inside this else black, uh, we should do a very simple thing. Just set the table data uh, to what we had stored already inside the save data. Okay, and also set is sorted to false all right functionality is done let's click and as you can see they are sorted perfectly but uh, let's make the text of the button dynamic so let's render something here if is sorted was true let's uh, make the text set to unsorted otherwise just sort Okay, and let me also add a class name so it looks better, like BG White, and padding a little bit, and also merging a little bit more. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. Let's go and take another look. If I click on sort, as you can see, uh, the text is changed and they are sorted again. And search works, and that's all. Thanks for watching.